volunteer fire service changes so many people's lives and makes such a difference. There's also a sense of family with the fire service. Uh, we are a family. We all belong to this. Um, but we make a difference. It's a family, you know, we are brothers here. And it's almost, it is your second house here. So if you would want to join here, I would definitely tell you, yeah. You know, if you want to help your community, you want to show people that, you know, you want to protect them. And that feeling that you get after you just saved someone's life or you saved their property, it's unimaginable. And that's the biggest reason why you should join, because you're here for your community and you get to affect your community in so many different ways. Firefighting has made a difference in my life in many ways. Um, I get to see firsthand how the fire department helps the community, not only on an emergency call, but not on an emergency call. You get to see the people who you help. If their house is on fire, you save half their house and half their contents. You get to see how appreciated you truly are in the fire service. And I changed my whole lifestyle once I joined the fire department became totally community oriented and it's really about what you can do for your community. I actually started doing it just for a senior project but I ended up staying here and I like it. And I get a lot of experience. It's something amazing. You get to know, you get to meet new people, you know, different calls every day. It's something that I won't change for anything. Well all I can say is it's the best thing in the world. I recommend you come out, you know, join the fire service. Doesn't mean you're going to have to fight fires. If you don't want to, just, you know, it'll be a great thing to help out the community and, you know, down the line if you want to do it as a career. I mean, it literally is a brotherhood, you know. Don't matter what, who you are, what race, color, don't matter. It's just one huge family. Once I left high school, I was just, you know, regular job, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't feel like that's what I wanted to do. I, I, I felt like there was something that I needed to chase, something that I needed to find. And, you know, life is hard, you know. I didn't want the, that nine to five job. I just, I felt like there was more. I don't regret leaving that job. I'm the first paid Hispanic driver here for West Hazleton. I'm very proud of it. So I know that the day I do leave here, I'm, I left a part of history here, you know. And this is, a, this is my second home here. You know what, one thing I can say is there's a lot of Hispanics now joining, especially like Hazleton City, you know, here. One thing I can tell you is the history of West Hazleton Fire is amazing, man. There was a lot of great guys and I learned a lot. And the history here is very strong, very, very strong. Especially the young guys that you don't always have to turn to the streets. You know, you don't always have to be a part of a gang to be in a family, you know, because just here in the fire service, man, there's nothing, nothing more stronger than, you know, being part of a family that you know, they, they, they want to see the positive side out of you. They want to see you succeed. They want to be, they want to see you become a leader. And, and there's no better gang than that. I, I, I learned, I learned so much in one year from the fire service and, you know, the real world with, with the guys here, you know. They, they gave me different directions, different, different point of views, and you know, I, I took it and I ran with it, you know. The difference that it's made in my life is uh, it showed me a lot of compassion and uh, discipline, you know, with uh, jobs that uh, need to be done in a timely manner. And uh, it also, you know, gears me to, you know, want to continue to help the community, you know, above and beyond inside the firehouse and outside as well. You know, on our tombstones when we die, there's a day that we're born, and then there's a day that we die. And in between those two days is a dash. And I always ask myself, Brian, what'd you do with your dash? Did it make a difference? Did that dash change people's lives? Did that dash make your life fulfilling or rewarding? What did you do with your dash? You know, when you pray to make a difference, God doesn't automatically make you make a difference. It gives you the opportunity to. And here with this video, the fire service, volunteer fire service, you have the opportunity. You'll be given the opportunity to make a difference. Not everybody has to run into burning buildings. 
Not everybody has to drive the engines, trucks. Not everybody has to direct traffic. Not everybody has to roll hose. But in our family, there's a lot, a lot of roles that have to be filled. We need people to videographer, to make documentation of things. We need administrative members to help with the bookkeeping and the financing. We need fundraising members to help with the funding of the volunteer fire service. We need fire police. We need fire officers. We need firefighters. Fires don't put themselves out. Somebody has to do it. What did you do with your dash? Can you come and make a difference? I challenge you to try to make a difference. Come here, see what it's all about. You're being handed the opportunity to.